if you're new to the platform don't forget to subscribe let's hit a thousand subscribers at the end of this month only few subs left so let's start with the video gold digger realizes she rejected a ceo and why you ended up hopping my name is adonna and the first thing i thought was like i don't know if you're like high because your eyes are like they look like you're not there mm -hmm. are you on i'm um, actually fully here your eyes are red too so kind of a similar thing are here. you on something right now or no no i okay. don't do any type so of drugs i wasn't sure because they look like they're really red so that's one reason and now is adana your type adana actually is i really like you know her hair i like her style i like that color on her yeah, um, I think if she got to know me maybe a little bit more, she would like me. I like the way she talks, her sophistication. I think she would be somebody that probably could be my A, 1A if I were to run my business and include her in it. And, um, um, which, which way for the business? As far as somebody as a CEO just like me, so you can take over my same businesses, vice versa, represent those things, you know, respectability to other people. So say if we're talking about my modeling career, you can speak on my behalf, you know, help me with things like agency. Would be your right? agent? No. Like what the, my what's the cut? If I'm a partner. A partner. Wait, okay, so you'll be the model and then I would help build your portfolio? No. We or? will be a business unit. You will learn me and what I do and how to just do that on my behalf and I will learn the same to you. Yeah. I get a cut. Absolutely. Okay, so what are you doing right now, like as far as your portfolio? Right now, I'm an A&R. I'm scouting for young talent right now to sign to new record labels. Mm -hmm. That's going to be next 10 years. Some of the biggest artists you probably don't know about yet. I do professional model work. I do commercials. I do act. I'm in New York Fashion Week upcoming this 2024 year. Same. Okay. okay. So, do you have any artists that... Yes. Do you have a studio? Yes. Where is it? It's over in the Buckeye area, Buckeye, Arizona. Is it elaborate? Yes. It's called Evolve Music Group, LLC. That's my name. I'm Cinco the Wolf. You have an engineer and all that? Yes. I hire people. I employ people. Where are you getting the funds from? <laughs> I'm 28 years old. Before this, I was one of the youngest account managers with a company called CenturyLink. They're called Lumina. Yeah. I made about $250,000 there on my own just from the contracts that I signed around the state. So you may move into an apartment and they have internet already established there. About three years ago, I established that before that place was even built. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how many years ago was this? I'm 28 now, so this is about five years ago. Life costs money, so okay, I'm thinking about 200 grand five years ago, and then did you invest that or did you just put it into your other businesses? Yeah, five years ago I invested into my music career, I invested in my modeling career. I do my own thing now. I wake up when I want to and I do my own thing. That That's why I'm dangerous. able to be. Well, it's wake fun. up when you want to at it's this fun. age. I live a life. People know me. It's called Every Day is Friday. Yeah. That's how I live. Okay, so when you made that 200K, did you get any gro like revenue growth when you put it into your other business like modeling and that 200k wasn't just all i made that was just from one entity i have several different streams of income okay. yeah. that was just century i was up establishing at 23 there to get me to where i'm at today to talk to you right now that's not how it works what <laughs> that got you to where you're at now to talk to me yeah oh like the curiosity oh, yeah. i'm a businesswoman but I can okay tell. I was <laughs> like, hmm. That's why you're my type. That's why I said you're my type. I can tell. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> oh, we're, okay. I forgot we're still okay, here. <laughs> she might be a little flustered. I fluster her a little bit. I'm sorry. No, I'm just like, a little talk, but I'm. Something's not adding up. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. All right. <laughs> I'll get the balloon back and I'll think. Let me, let, oh. me, let my mind twirl okay. a little bit. All right. I gotta crunch the numbers real quick. <laughs> Not crunch the numbers. All right, we'll be back with you then. <laughs> All right, if we can. He's the top 1% of men going on this dating show looking for a partner. Come on, man, just be serious with your life. Otherwise, you will end up regretting. These women will bankrupt you. Don't ever do that. It's not safe for your achievement. Oh, no, 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 no. But y'all don't do him? that. Y'all don't you, do that because our money and education. How that man? Stop how talking would you view that man? But would you say Stop. that that man is oh, family? Let me ask you a question, Edgar. Why are the why are the passport bros not going to Sweden, Switzerland, Germany? Why are they going to Colombia, the Philippines, Malaysia, African countries? Why are they going there and not to Europe?
Because that's the choice that they choose. No, not every that's man. The wrong, just, that wrong is answer. That if that, wrong no, answer. That can't, it can't be the wrong answer because, because you can't tell everybody where they're They're modeled going. like the West. They're modeled like us, and they're not going to stand for their bullshit. So they go to these very, very mm. poor countries where your fifty thousand dollars means the world in a third world country. And they bring them back here and the women are subservient and they do everything the man wants. But kid, let me kid you not. When the women get a little education and, and an employment and mm. learn the language, they might not freaking stay. They use the men, the American men, so, the schmucks as an outlet to get here. So let me ask you a question. Because why can't you find what but, you're looking for here if you're a good man, that is, right? Because, if you're a good man. Okay, I'll take part of what you said to reason why. Because you said that they take your little fifty thousand dollars. See, maybe our because fifty thousand. Because here it doesn't mean hold shit. On, hold on, hold on. But real. exactly. See, it means it doesn't it mean, doesn't mean shit. shit here. But, but if you listen, it doesn't mean shit to the women who aren't accepting and don't see. Not the when I make over six hold figures. On, wait, it wait, mean wait. Shit. Hold on. But but it doesn't make sense to a woman. Of course it in does. In that fact, when a man is working hard and putting in blood, sweat, and tears just to get his fifty thousand dollars, see that woman get doesn't appreciate. Get a better job. It. You better. See, but that are the pre that don't appreciate it. You Have see how that, You see how that is. I did. It's Unappre that's the reason why passport bros do what they do because simply what you said because they feel unappreciated for the hard work do that they better do better and make more money and, and on top of that those those why is from making those more money important have some emotional intelligence and make is, more money but why Edgar, you're trying to reason with money, the liberal it's not going to work why making more money is more important why is what that do you more think important? Fifty thousand is going to buy in America with well, the state hey, of look, the economy. But he works hard for it. Well, how would you feel if somebody said that your little fifty thousand dollars don't? Make I, I make double that, so but it's I, irrelevant. Not you, though. Not you. What about a I woman that does? I was making fifty thousand, and what I what about But how much was the woman from the other country about. making? But how much but was the woman does, from the other country? But what, Doug? What about a woman who makes fifty thousand dollars? And that man said, "I'm not going to be with you because your little fifty thousand dollars don't mean shit." But y'all don't do him? that. Y'all don't you, do that because our money and education see that man? stop how talking would you over that me. But would you say stop. that that man is? Would you say that man is horrible? Would you say that man is like uh, he don't stop accept the woman? Over me. I'm for what? You. That's it. I'm dropping you. Did you hear what Tom Brady did to his ex-wife? Allegedly, when his wife filed for divorce, she demanded half of his property. Only the court told her that her millionaire husband owned nothing. Apparently, all of his property is registered under his mother's name. Because he transferred his assets to his mother, he technically owns nothing, which means he doesn't owe her anything. Now, instead of transferring the assets to another person, he could have set up a trust and appointed himself as the beneficiary. That way, it's a separate legal entity, just like a person, but it's way more secure. Which means his assets are not only protected from divorce, but also legal claims and creditors. So what do you think? Is this bad or totally brilliant? Like that, your assets you have to protect them because it's not easy to have what you have right now. You suffered a lot to get there and these women, they want to jump on it and take it and cash out and leave you. There's no love, you know, they only focus on the bag.